Hi, thanks for stopping by Treetop Secret. This is a presentation on Bloom's Taxonomy and Depth of Knowledge, and I'm your presenter, Veronica Lopez. Please stop by our website at www.treetopsecret.com. If you're on Facebook, please give us a like over at www.facebook.com forward slash treetopsecret. And by all means, if you find this presentation useful, please share the link with some of your colleagues, friends, fellow teachers. We'd appreciate it. Thank you. Now let's get started. In this slide, we have an overview of Bloom's taxonomy and depth of knowledge. We have a basic uh, outline of each framework so that you see the different components within each. We'll go more in detail as we proceed through the presentation. A snapshot of Bloom's taxonomy. We start with the visual aid that we're calling an inverted triangle with a purpose. If we look at what taxonomy means, we know that it's a classification process where a system or a whole is divided into groups or categories. Each segment in the triangle represents a different category and the segments vary in size. Each size represents a different quantity or volume and there is a sequence. Special note here, we may equate the size of a segment with value. We might make an assumption that the bottom segment or point of the triangle has less value because the segment is smaller. In this context, however, this would be an incorrect assumption. Each segment may have the same or comparable value because it is a component within a greater system. Bloom's taxonomy content categories. So here's an outline of the categories. We can also see here that in 1956, Benjamin Bloom and a team of researchers developed the original taxonomy with these categories. The original categories were knowledge, comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. However, Bloom's was revised in 2001. And so now we work with uh, the categories of create, evaluate, analyze, apply, understand, and remember. A few key points. Learning builds on itself as the learner moves from one segment to the next. So as a student moves from this particular segment of remember, moves on to understand, apply, analyze, evaluate, and create, the learning is building on itself. Therefore, a student would have to have a basic understanding of different facts, different definitions, at the remember level in order to be able to be successful at the analysis, evaluation, and creation level. The sequence begins at remember where content is simpler and concrete. So here at remember you've got simple and concrete information. The final segment is create where the content is complex and abstract. So that would be at the red segment. Information is complex and abstract. Here we have content categories and cognitive processes. So the content categories are what we just reviewed in the previous slide. The cognitive processes are the actions that a student is taking at each, at each level. And you can take time to be able to uh, understand these a little bit better. And you can definitely find different graphic organizers by doing a Google search. You'll find plenty of different um, representations and verbs that you can utilize. Here we have some very basic verbs that will help you understand what it is that we are referring to as we're going through the framework. So I remember you have verbs like recognize and recall, understand, exemplify, compare, at application, execute, implement, at analyze, differentiate, organize, at evaluate, you're critiquing, at the creation level, you're generating, planning, producing. The purpose of Bloom's taxonomy is instruction. It is a tool for instruction. How teachers use Bloom's. Bloom's is used to plan lessons, decide how to build or sequence an instructional activity, decide on the optimal teaching strategy, to review and make improvements to instruction. A snapshot of depth of knowledge, or DOK. The visual aid that we're using for DOK is a table with these different images of neurons and finally an overview of the brain. You move in DOK from different levels, a level one of recall to level two, level three, and level four. It was in 1997 that Dr. Norman Webb introduced the depth of knowledge framework. 
If framework begins at recall, where the standards are simple and con concrete, and move all the way through level four, where the objectives are complex and abstract. I do want to take a moment just to mention that the images that we're using are representations of the engagement of the brain activity involved as the learner moves from one level to the next. At level one recall, the representation shows a neural pathway has been established. The learner quickly and easily, easily or automatically recalls facts, definitions, routines, and procedures. Now there are billions of neurons in our brain and of course for any action we're probably using or firing millions of them. So this representation isn't exactly what our brain would look like at this level. However, it is a good example that the pathway has been established and you're not having to use a lot of your brain in order just to recall some basic facts or definitions. At the level two skill or conceptual understanding, we have a representation where there's a few more neural pathways that are being engaged in the processing of information. The learner's applying a skill or concept to make a con connection to explain how or why to approximate, categorize, compare, and contrast. At level three, you have a little bit more dynamic uh, activity here. In this representation, networks of neurons are engaged in the learning process and the learner is strategically identifying and, and applying relevant skills and information. The student is considering various contexts, planning, developing a strategy to explain a process or potential resolution. At level four, you have extended reason, reasoning. And this dynamic visual representation shows us a brain that is fully engaged. So the learner is involved in connecting information across content areas, applying real world context, attempting to decipher the various outcomes uh, to any given topic, or to find solutions in multifaceted problems. Beautiful picture, isn't it? The purpose of depth of knowledge is assessment. So DOK is a tool for assessment. That contrasts to Bloom's Blooms is a tool for instruction. How are teachers using DOK to assess learning, assess the standard or learning objective, determine the level of a learning objective, evaluate alignment between curriculum instruction and assessment? In the table, we've included a lot more information. You have more verbs that uh, you can review in order to have a better understanding of what's going on at each level. I will point out that in level one and level two, a student would only be choosing one right answer for a given problem. However, in level three and level four, students would be looking at the possibility of multiple answers. A snapshot of Bloom's and depth of knowledge, a side-by-side -side overview. We've taken the visual aids and added additional information to them. In Bloom's for instruction, we've added the verbs to the categories, and in the depth of knowledge for assessment table, we've added the verbs as well as additional details for each level. We also have some arrows, and the arrows show us the relationship between one framework to the other. In the taxonomy, if we look at this segment of remember, we can see the verbs recognize and recall. If we look at the table, level one recall, we can see that the same verbs are listed, recall, recognize. And that makes sense to us because if we are teaching a student to recall information, then when we assess them, they should be able to recall the information. We'll move on to the segments of understand, apply, analyze, evaluate, and create. You can see that they've all been grouped here and that the arrows show that they can correspond to either a level two, a level three, or a level four in the depth of knowledge framework. If we look at, for example, understand, we see that on the taxonomy it ranks rather low. And so you may not think that, hey, understand applies to a level four or level three in the DOK framework. That wouldn't be the case though. Understand is possibly at a level three stage of a student is engaging in complex thinking or abstract thinking and could apply to a level four if a student is working on multiple steps, a cross-curricular project, or making real-world connections. And that brings us to the end of our presentation. If you have any questions, please email them to contact us at treetopsecret.com 
or you can send them to me at vlopez at treetopsecret.com. We would certainly appreciate it if you'd drop by our website, or if you're on Facebook, if you'll give us a like at www.facebook.com forward slash treetopsecret. And please, if you found this presentation useful, let us know by sending us an email or by posting a comment on Facebook. And please share the presentation with your colleagues. We would um, appreciate any support that you can provide in that regard. Thank you so much for joining us and for stopping by Treetop Secret. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.